Welcome back. Uh, so now that you've gone ahead and answered some questions and actually chosen which of these sources you think is least relevant based on author qualification, let's discuss each of the individual um, sources uh, based on that category of evaluating. So let's start with the Stanford one. So you may or may not have noticed that Stanford is a, a private research institution. So the question is, if it's a private school versus a public school, um, does that actually change the way the research might be done? or the oversight or accountability um, that might take place at the institution. However, uh, it is also, Stanford is considered one of the world's um, you know, highest quality research institutions. Um, so it is an educational institution, their primary focus is to educate. So that makes sense, that that would be a strong qualification, um, but you might, there might still be some question marks attached to it. Okay, so the second one is the principal. Um, we do know that he's been a school principal for 10 years. However, we don't know what kind of institution he was a principal at, um, or if it was 10 years in the same school, or if it was 10 consecutive years. I don't know if that would make a difference or not. Uh, the other thing that you might notice is, um, kind of like what we just said about Stanford, if it's a public school versus a private school, what kind of oversight is there? Um, what kind of rules does he have to follow as a principal? Um, because there is a question of, um, you know, if it's a, a public school, then there are regulations that are put in place um, by the government. If it is a private school, they don't actually have to follow most of those regulations. Um, and the oversight just really isn't there. Um, so that's a question mark. The other thing is, um, we don't know, it says that he actually did publish a, uh, a book about school safety, I think it's School Safety 101, um, and I mean, that, that's impressive. However, we don't know if that's something that was self-published, um, or if it was something that was put through kind of a rigorous sort of editing process that would take place at different publishing houses. Um, the other thing is, we don't, it just says that it's about safety guidelines or best practices. We don't actually know if he talks about gun violence specifically in that particular um, piece. So that's, you know, the, like with the first one, there are some good points, there are some question marks uh, attached to it. And then last but not least, um, we have the journalist. Now we do know that she actually got um, a degree in journalism, uh, a, a bachelor's in journalism and legal studies, I believe. Uh, so that was a dual degree. Um, and she, you know, that, that does say something that there is that, uh, I've, I know I've talked to students in the past in different classes who had said, um, well, you know, that doesn't actually mean that she's necessarily an, considered an expert in gun violence, which makes sense, of course. Um, she, you know, is a journalist. She is not, um, you know, a somebody who works in the field of criminal justice or um, specifically looking at gun safety. However, uh, journalism, uh, one of the, the main things that they study is how to go out and actually interview people who would be considered those experts. Um, because you know they just need to know how to um, explore a topic and write about it in a uh, kind of an unbiased way as much as possible uh, and make sure that it's very fact-based. Um, so that, and we'll jump into that in our next uh, section, which is about bias. Uh, the other thing that you might want to consider is that uh, most of her um, experience, we don't know before college, obviously, but most of her experience has been centralized in Rochester, New York. So she went to the university there, she got a degree, but then she also has been working um, in Rochester professionally as a journalist. Uh, and so that uh, means you know, there's a question of what part of gun violence can she really talk about? Um, you know, is it going to be relevant? Is she actually going to be talking about, um, is because it's not clear in her article if she's talking about schools, um, different mass shootings that have happened perhaps in schools in Rochester, or if she's just talking about gun violence overall. Um, so hopefully that you find that helpful. Now let's go ahead and jump into talking about bias.